Hi there, this is Anub. Today we are going to talk about Intune integration with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. How you can manage workflows of Microsoft Defender for Endpoint from Intune. We are going to discuss about licensing requirements. We are going to discuss about some of the gochas. We are going to talk about missing devices node in the assets in Microsoft 365 Defender portal. Then we are going to talk about integration process of Intune and Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. This is the first part of Microsoft Intune and Defender integration video. The second part will be coming soon. So don't skip this part. Let's go ahead and check this out. Let's look into MS Defender and Intune integration in this video. We'll quickly look into devices node missing scenario what is the gotcha about this and how to fix it and licensing requirements and the integration between Intune and Microsoft 365 Defender so these are the main three points which we are going to look into in this video so let's go to the next slide now let's quickly look into what is Microsoft 365 Defender basically Microsoft 365 Defender is a unified solution that works across endpoints, identities, email, apps and cloud applications. What does this use for? This helps organization with pre and post breach scenarios to perform the analysis, to find out the root cause, etc. Enterprise Defense Suit that natively coordinates to detect, prevent, investigate and respond to the breaches or threats. So as you can see over here, it is going to help with endpoints, identities, email and collaboration apps and cloud apps now let's go to the next slide Microsoft Defender for Endpoint is an enterprise endpoint security platform that makes sure that all the endpoints are secured and the endpoint provides different capabilities such as alerting hunting reporting threat vulnerability management security analysis events and actions etc and Microsoft Defender for Endpoint integrates directly with Azure Active Directory and other components of Microsoft 365 also with Graph API. And over here in this diagram you would be able to see it. It has a direct integration with Microsoft Intune and Intune Managed Devices. You can perform onboarding, configuration and remediation of Defender policies and Defender for Endpoint via Intune. And with the direct internet connection, Intune managed clients, MDE onboarded clients can directly send information to Defender for Endpoint, the cloud service. And then Defender for Endpoint cloud service will coordinate with Microsoft Intune and perform all the admin related tasks. This is not only for Windows, but also available for Android, iOS, Linux and Mac OS devices. Let's check what are the licensing requirements requirements for Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. You need to have Defender for Endpoint Plan 1 or Plan 2 to manage endpoints with Defender policies or Defender. Endpoint Plan 1 and Plan 2 don't include server license. There's a catch over there. For server licenses, you need to have Microsoft Defender for Business Servers. For Endpoint Management, you can have other Microsoft 365 plans as well. That includes Plan 1 or Plan 2. We have some videos about how to get the trial version for Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. I will add those videos into the i button over here. If you click on i button in YouTube over here, you would be able to see that videos. I will embed those videos into the description of YouTube description of this video as well so you can check that out over here you can see i have taken a trial version and that expires after three months so the trial versions are valid for three months and you can extend for next 30 days now let's go to the next slide missing devices node in microsoft 365 defender portal as you can see if you go to assets section in this portal you can only see identities sometimes there's no devices node we'll find out 
out in the demo why this is happening and what is the reason for this etc once we fix it you would be able to see some additional notes over here under assets you can see devices and then there would be a additional node called endpoints then you would be able to see configuration management as well we'll see more on this in the demo so this is the intune portal experience when you try to integrate microsoft defender for endpoint with intune so if you go to endpoint security and if you scroll down to microsoft defender for endpoint you would be able to see this option over there configuring microsoft defender for endpoint and you can configure using this method click on this link that will guide you to microsoft 365 defender portal and you can configure some of the settings which i am going to explain in the demo session let's go to the next slide after the integration you would be able to see something like this in the intune portal the connection status shows available and it will also show the last synchronized date now let's directly go into the demo and check what is happening over there let's have a quick look into microsoft 365 defender portal and check whether we have all the nodes available or not you can see home assets identities etc etc but in the assets you normally should see devices but the devices are missing only the identity part is available so that is a bit weird so we are going to check out why this is not available because that is essential for intune integration so we are going to head over to m365 admin center portal and check we have the appropriate appropriate license or not so what i did is i have taken a trial version of microsoft defense for endpoint and now I'm going to log off and log in back to this particular portal to check whether the devices node will be available or not let's log in back I have taken the trial version how to take the trial version of defender as explained in the different video and that video is linked to the I button in YouTube and into the description of the video so you can check that out successfully able to sign in and you can see a new pop up over here and in this pop-up you would be able to see new endpoint protection home that means the issue was with license now you can see microsoft defender for endpoint formerly known as microsoft defender advanced threat protection and you can also see devices node over there so that means it was a licensing issue and we were able to resolve the issue so if you don't see devices node in the microsoft 365 defender portal that means you are missing the license you need to purchase the license then the configuration options for endpoints and devices will appear in microsoft 365 defender portal let's discuss about intune admin center portal and integration between intune and microsoft 365 defender you need to go to endpoint security and microsoft defender for endpoint as you can see in the screen and if you scroll down you would be able to see a configuring microsoft defender for endpoint section over there over there there's a link if you click on that link that will take you to microsoft 365 defender for endpoint portal on the devices node you would be able to see onboard options there are different options to onboard but in this video series we are going to use intune to onboard devices rather than using the powershell script license details are already there so this license was missing now we have added the trial version there are different options over here under settings endpoint advanced settings you can define the roles and all as you can see over here if you click on settings you can reach from here also settings and then click on endpoints and then you can reach advanced features over here from advanced features you would be able to enable the intune integration if you scroll down a bit you would be able to see microsoft intune connection connect to microsoft intune to enable sharing device information and enhance policy enforcement intune provides additional information about managed devices for secure score it can use risk information to enforce conditional access policies etc ignore that microsoft intune license
options not found etc you just need to flip the enable button as you can see okay it is on now you need to click on save preferences saving preferences as you can see in the screen preferences saved now you can head back to intune portal and check what is happening over there intune portal we are here in intune portal the same place under endpoint security microsoft defender for endpoint you just need to refresh the page and it is enabled now you can enable the profile settings and all the other settings compliance policy related settings etc from here so this is basically allowing microsoft defender for endpoint to enforce security configurations and compliance settings etc there are really interesting options such as app protection policy evaluation options are also there for android and ios devices you have an option to block unsupported operating systems so over here you can enable or disable some of the settings as per your requirements going to enable blog unsupported os version and going to keep that as a seven number of days until partner is unresponsive at the moment there's no devices onboarded but the device onboarding is coming in the next part of the video not in this part so stay tuned for that particular video we have already integrated in tune with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Now that you have seen all the details about Microsoft Intune and Microsoft Defender integration, the first part in that we have covered basics of MDE. Then we checked about licensing requirements. We managed to get information about the licensing difference between server and client. OS management from a defender perspective we talked about some of the gochas and integration demo etc etc hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around